Greetings everyone, CCX here, welcome back to Wario Land 2. In the last episode, we ended up taking down Captain Syrups' final stupid mobile and drastically having a very hard time in beating it, mind you. And now in this part, we get to see what the last portion of the game consists of once you've beaten it. Once you've beaten the final chapter of the game, or any final chapter for that matter, you get access to what is known as the map. The map ends up allowing you to go ahead and go back to previous levels so that you can find either secret secret alternate endings or finding puzzle or finding the treaders and completing the level to be able to get them um, one of the pieces of the map. There are many alternate endings and they're each and every single level consists of five chapters that you need to complete to be able to find and beat a boss that you that is either a same or something new. Now, we're actually going to start simple, and we're going to start with the first level. Now, the thing is, though, since we technically, I can actually skip this now, in the one noisy morning, you're probably wondering, how are you supposed to get through, how are you supposed to get to the right side of the section of the map? Well, it's very simple. You don't press anything, and you just let the game just go as follow, you know, so... Uh, Oreo's getting antsy in the pantsy, and he just can't take it anymore. And there you go, and then the level is over. And now, since we already gotten the treasure, also, when we finish the next level, the treasure, this treasure map thing will change. But that's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and continue on with the actual cutscene. Oh yes, and every time you complete a level, you get to choose another level. It's actually quite stupid. Anyways, let's begin. When Wario is asleep, he does not go ahead and literally turn off the alarm. But it seems that the bandits themselves turn off the alarm for him. So they decide to say, Alright, since your ridiculous fat ass ain't waking up, we're just gonna go ahead and take you to someplace very, very nice. So, during the night, they end up taking Wario out of his bed and out of his castle, throwing him into the mists of nowhere. Wario wakes up, find the bandits that they tossed them out of his castle, and Captain Syrup has decided to do something completely different. She decided to do the Mario Land 2 approach by literally taking over Wario's castle. And now we need to get back into the castle. Invade Wario's castle. To the castle! Again! Yeah, I know, it's literally this again. Now we're, you know, we were in uh, the castle, and for some reason we're in the forest. I, I don't understand that. This, this is weird. Anyways, your goal is as followed. In this ch alternate chapter, or the non-canning ending, you need to go ahead and get back to your castle. But that's rel relatively easy to do. Now, the reason why I've done this is because I have been practicing, quote-unquote practicing, because I kind of did look at the other levels before starting to do them. And the thing is, is that these alternate pathways, they're not meant for you to do them on your first try. <laughs> Trust me. Because if you try to do these on your first try, you're going to really have a bad time. And the thing is, is that they are really, really difficult in terms of trying to find your way out. But I will say this, though. This is kind of when the... Damn it. Oh, crap. I'm all drunk in Wario. Anyways, this is when the game actually gets a little bit more fun. Yeah, the game were f was fun for the last few levels, but the game's levels weren't really that interesting, in my honest opinion. Also, I found how to get down in the factory level where you needed to... We need when you end up on the other side. Uh, apparently, there's also a secret Isaac there as well, so I didn't know that. <laughs> but it also doesn't make any sense. Okay, what am I doing? What am I trying to do? Okay, there's. Is there anything over here? No, there isn't. Alright, there's nothing over here, so I'm just wasting my life. Anyways, let's all continue on forward now, shall we? The thing about the alternate pathways, though, you don't really have to worry about. What am I going to say? You don't have to worry too much about alternate exits or different pathways, thank God. Because that's probably like one thing that can probably turn off a player, is the fact that they always have to worry about other areas that they might end up missing. And the thing is, don't worry about that. You don't really have to worry about that. Thank God, though. Because the thing is, though, once you've reached this point of the game, you 
can pretty much breeze through the levels without any problems. Isn't that lovely? And he's... Oh, he didn't fall in the water. Okay, cool. And now he fell in the water. Alright, so, this is a bit difficult. Hmm, how am I supposed to go ahead and get up there without having any sort of problems, I might add. I actually don't know how, but we're going to try. Let's just kick you out and pick you up. Uh, okay. So we're just going to assume that you're gone. No, you're still there. Right, that doesn't make any sense. Go away. Come here, you. Go. Uh, no. Come. Ugh. Ah, this is annoying. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Got him. Booyah. All right, and we throw him here. And now he dies. Is this where the um, bonus stage is? Okay, cool. At least we found the bonus stage, but I don't want to do it yet because I still do not have 200 coins. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to make... Uh, these guys again. You guys always keep following me. You know, after a while, I really get tired of your monster design. Whoa! There's us. The goal here is that you're just finding the exit, just at just the star exit door. That's pretty much it. You're not really finding anything else. No much of a big deal here. It's real, relatively easy. Trust me, the levels are not going to be as difficult as you think. Well, I just said that they, they are going to be difficult. Well, this is the first half. You don't really have to worry too much about anything in this in the first half. I'm going to take you with me because I don't trust it. And the endings... All the endings that you get are non-canon, so don't think that they're part of the canonical ending. The real ending is you just finding your actual, is finding, um... Whoa, whoa, booyah! And there's the exit, but we do not want to go there yet, because we are scrubs. Damn it. We're trying not to get hit here. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, let's try this again without fail. And jump, and... Damn! Uh. Alright. Wario, you are the man! Wait, hold on. How am I supposed to get... Oh, wait a minute. Let me just jump here and jump. No, that's not how I... Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. tells me I'm doing something wrong. I am not doing anything wrong. Okay, I just can't. I, I, how am I supposed to get that? No, seriously, how am I supposed to? <sighs> Alright, whatever, I'll figure that out later. Until then, let's go back down so I can go ahead and collect more coins. Even though, to be honest, if I collected those coins, I probably would have gotten what I needed. Anyways, it's cool. It's fine. It's fine, bruh. Uh, right. Uh, maybe there's a switch to... No, that wouldn't make any sense. Why would there be a switch to stop the river? Unless there is, and, you know, I, I could be... I could be... hugely mistaken, to be honest. But we got 230, but we want to take this pathway first, and see what's over here. And, alright, bada boom. Let's keep going. Now, the thing is, you do want to go ahead and actually do this properly, because if you don't, you'll end up missing your jumps. Then again, that's obvious for any sort of platformer, guys. If you're a platformer king, you should know everything about everything. Sadly, though, if you accidentally jump in the midst of anything, you end up missing practically everything else. Alright, let's see. Let's go through this door and see what we got. Ooh, we got a mouse. Alright, guess we gotta go and let this mouse traverse for us. Come here. Now, this is the one of the secret pathways that I actually did when I first played Wario Land 2. And I didn't know what was going on. I also didn't know how I found this stage to begin with, to be honest. And it's like, oh, okay, whatever. I guess it's just a, another glorified normal stage. And it's like, oh, whatever. It's like, there's like, nothing else to really for me to do. I thought the game was over once you defeated Captain Syrup in the first half of the game. It's like, wow, this is a very short game. And then come to find out that no, it's not really a short game. It's actually really, really long if you end up going after all the stages. So if you do go after, if you try to complete this game 100%, you are going to be doing every single additional chapter. And the thing is, the additional chapters are a lot more entertaining. A lot more interesting, and the level design, ironically enough, suits a Wario Land game. 
And again, as I said before in the ending, that this would be a perfect rendition for you to... Hey! That looks like a lipstick or a... Uh... Dr. Mario pill. But yeah, like I said, um... I gotta pass these guys again. Should've just cut, but I don't want to. It'd be kind of pointless. But anyways, like, you end up getting, like, the audacity. You get, like, the scene at this, like, wow, I didn't even hit you guys! Yeah. Anyways. And the thing is, it's like the first basic levels that you do, they're like kinda meh. But then when you do like these levels, it's like, okay, like, okay. You guys are probably saying like, wow, this just looks like just like the level that you did in the second chapter when you were going after Captain Sarah. And yeah, you may be right. <laughs> it really, really does seem that way. But don't worry, it does get a lot more interesting later on. Because right now, we're already done with this level. <laughs> Now you guys are probably wondering, how does the puzzle map minigame changes? Well, the game will tell you. Subgame contents will change slightly. Each panel costs 50 coins. Yeah, we already knew that. But the thing is, though, is that you don't have to... It will drain your coins automatically. And then you just press the B button to answer the question. And that's it. Well, pick your answer. That's about it. That's really all the minigame is, because they can't be hell-bent on making you do that. I don't know why this is the only one that changed, and the matching minigame is the one that didn't change. Anyways, you just let it go ahead and sap away your coins, like... Like, uh... I got nothing. Okay. That's gotta be a zero. Yes! Thank you! Because... Sheesh! I hate it when it's not a zero. It pisses me off. Anyways, put that piece down. Alright, whatever. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this episode. Ugh. Ugh, boy. That's the end of this episode of Warrior Land 2. In the next episode, we'll be going to the next level, which is... Storm the Castle. Okay, basically, this is just the same exact title as the final chapter in the first half of the game. Anyways, I've been CCX, and we'll see you guys next time. CCX, over and out.